Maya signs. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's have let's see what's happening for you, fire sign. All right, fire sign. So um, this is the energy of love, my darlings. It's getting warmer. Okay, I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what's coming up for love for you guys. Remember, you can pick up the extended reading for your zodiac sign by using the link here and the link here to subscribe. Fire sign, it is oopsie daisy. I have been looking at your energies, and a lot of you fire signs are just going through so much. Okay, baby girls and boys. I see a bit and and you're going to be making um a decision if you're in a relationship with an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. You're definitely going to be making a decision over this person. Whoever this person is, you're definitely going to be making a decision over this person, okay? So, um, it is going to be a rough one for you guys in this year. Some of you will have it good, some of you not, okay? Um, I'm seeing the energies that is coming up. I've been doing the birth charts, so I'm seeing that. So, I see some of you were waiting for some information. Um, the information hasn't come in from um, uh, you Sagittarians uh, are going to be affected okay so let's see what's transpiring you're seeing the truth of the situation okay and it has to do with uh, um, um, a Pisces all right you're seeing the truth of the relationship with a Pisces I see no win is coming up a divorce could be coming up but you are in you're seeing the negative forces that has been affecting your relationship and it has to do with a cancer so whoever this cancer is and whatever that was transpiring i see it is a time a period where you guys are going to be working on your relationships because there was some intervening in your relationship and you're going to be finding out that a cancer has been doing something negative in order to create some um, issues between you and your partner. Ladies and gentlemen, be aware this these these things do happen. Sometimes you're married to someone, they have an affair with someone, and this person creates issues for you and your partner. So you will realize that sometimes your relationships is just not working out. It's because other people have intervened um, in your relationship. I see um, a divorce could be coming up for some of you. Some of you are going to just realize it's better to divorce. Some of you are going to be seeing the truth about a Pisces, whoever the Pisces is, whether it's their husband. If you're married to a Pisces, you're going to be seeing the truth about this person. Some of you are going to be um, getting married or getting together with a cancer. Um, this, whoever is, um, getting together, I see, um, the deceptiveness is going to be over. That was transparent. So it's, a, it's, it's a sort of a weird shift that is going on and it's affecting you guys. People who are not in relationship at this moment, it is as if, um, there is certain energies, um, that is creating blocks. Okay. So I see some of you are going to be turning your back on a relationship and moving forward. Um, some of you wants to leave a relationship and you are going to be leaving this relationship. I see some of you were just connected to a relationship because of money and you're going to decide I'm ending this. Um, I'm moving forward. I, I really need to move forward and move away from this relationship. So I see um, Leo's, you're going to definitely decide to leave. I see justice comes up, justice comes up. Um, if you're in a relationship and you're divorcing an Aquarian, um, you are ending this marriage. I see a lot of you decide to end a marriage um, and just move forward. End a marriage with a Pisces, end a relationship with a Pisces and just move forward. Some of you are in karmatic relationships with a Pisces. And however this is happening and transpiring for you, I see that some of you are going to be realizing um, this is karma. Some of you are turning your backs um, to a marriage and you're ending your marriage. Um, so you're protecting yourself. You're deciding 
I'm choosing for myself okay I see communication is coming to you um, if you're in a relationship with a Pisces I see some communication is going to be coming into you I see a whole lot of conflicts a whole lot of conflicts um, that is happening um, with a divorce a separation judgment call is coming up judgment call is coming up on a cancer um, and a cancer who was married judgment call is coming up on you because some information is coming out about a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn so it's as if some of you were married and uh, um, some information you could have had an affair with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and it's coming out I see some of you are um, or going to seek counsel for your marriage okay you're going to seek counsel for your marriage or your relationship I see they find out um, that a cancer you're gonna be finding out that a cancer has cheated on you with a Capricorn or a Taurus or a Virgo okay sorry ladies and gentlemen I just can't take the eat a lot is going on fire sign people justice is here twice a lot of divorces a lot of marriages is going to be ended some of you are going for counseling because your relationship was so bad you're deciding to go for counseling however that is coming up and transpiring you're definitely deciding to go for counseling I see the end of a marriage I see the end of a marriage to a Virgo could be coming in I see that um whoever you are that was married to a cancer you're going to be finding out that a cancer has cheated on you with a Capricorn <sighs> yep okay so um, I see that there is some conflicts with um, a divorce there is definitely some conflicts that is happening with a divorce um, and it's over a lot of money so whoever is divorcing I see a whole lot of conflicts is happening because of some money I see some of you decide I'm not leaving because I've placed all my energy in this marriage or in this relationship I'm not leaving without anything so this was a karmatic relationship or a karmatic marriage and I see that some of you realize this and decide hey um, I'm gonna see all I can get out of this marriage or this relationship because I've given it so much Phoenix rise from the ashes some of you are going to be victoriously overcoming some horrible relationship or marriage that you were in and you are going to be um, like very happy some of you are going to be so happy getting out of this marriage or this relationship or this contract you were in I see the grimness divorce divorce is coming up you're walking away you're protecting yourself you're deciding this is it no more and I think that that is the right thing I see here saying no more with a marriage a karmatic situation with a cancer you're like no more I don't want this let it be I've seen enough I've had enough and I see an ending justice is coming in where definitely um, um, the end of a divorce is here a whole lot of conflicts and I see an ending is coming in and judgment is coming up um, whoever that was married um, to a cancer you're going to be finding out that a cancer has been cheating uh, or had cheated on you with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn woman um, you um, uh, some of you are going to be asking a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn woman the ends of marriage I see addiction addiction to sex addiction to drugs is coming out some of you are going to be finding out that your partner has an addiction and you're going to be going for um, counseling with your partner I see a lot of co um, communication I see uh, some of you find out that your husband was in um, had an affair with a Capricorn I see that um, your husband <laughs> and, and, and this is it ladies and gentlemen 
your husband that was a cancer had an affair with a Capricorn that is over and out but this other person he's having an affair with with an Aquarian is going to tell you that he has also had an affair with a Capricorn now ladies and gentlemen this is what I'm always saying to people if you can to have something you say that it is sour the thing about it is that this um, Aquarian person find out that your husband the cancer um, do not really love them but his heart is for um, the Capricorn or the Taurus or the Virgo because um, they knew that this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn was the love of uh, your husband life and they could not replace um, the feelings that this person was having for the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person and because of that they want to ruin your life and ruin your marriage and their ruin their um, relationship with this person because they realize that this person is in love with someone else so they're going to be calling you up on the phone and letting you know and I will advise you to say to this water sign person whoever this is is, is, a, is an Aquarian ah you are going to say to the Aquarian if you knew that he was married why are you calling me you see you know being a wife it's very important because guess what you're the one with the ring you need to stand up okay now if this other side piece chick of your husband is going to call you and let you know that he was in an affair with someone else when he was in an affair with them too then you realize as as a woman that you know this woman is um because you know women knows when their husband is cheating okay and whatever this issue and the situation is is that women knows when their husband are cheating but this Aquarian person wants to ruin everyone's life because they're so unhappy themselves so whether it's an Aquarian or whether it's the other woman she is going to be calling you and just say to her listen you know he was married um yeah sorry but it's um not my my place and I was also say to you um just ignore this man totally just find a way to decide whether or not you're going to be staying with him or whether or not you're going to be leaving him but do not get involved with this woman this other woman that is calling you because obviously he has broken it off with her and she is going back taking revenge and this is the reason why she's calling you so you know women who are married stand up um, if you're not married you don't really need to have a conversation with this woman listen to what she says and said yeah now okay all right um, I hear you now I wish you all the success I hang your telephone up okay do not get involved um, because a lot of women especially if you're married or in your in a relationship with a man you when the other woman call you're going to be ah, and ladies it's a waste of time all right you cannot put a lock on your husband or your partner um, pants um, whatever they do is their karma just be true to yourself and make sure that you're not cheating on them and uh, um, you know it, it is a, a, a situation of self awareness this is really going to be a month of self-awareness and you know if you are the other person who is going to be calling this lady to harass this lady lady you knew that he was married all right men are the biggest um, um, fluff because you know men are men men like variety okay and some men just wants the marry to um, be in status but they're still Roman so ladies and gentlemen beware of that you can't find a good man in these days 
and sometimes you married to a man and his friends or you know it was always in him um, I was I was surprised when I realized that men in church have affairs I had no idea because I think that if you're in church and you are um, praying to God I couldn't imagine that men have affairs but I see a lot of you especially people who are in relationship and you love your partner that have addiction you're going to be looking for help for you and your partner so let's see who is leaving the relationship so um, whoever is in relationship with a scorpion you're going to be see, realizing that the scorpion is seen a Taurus you're going to be letting it go okay some of you um, Leo's are going to be a cancer is going to be ending a relationship with you because they find out it's just for money that you're just in a relationship just for the money okay it's a karmatic relationship some of you are going to be getting yourself out of a uh, love triangle where there were multiple people that your partner was seen you're going to be getting yourself out of it and you're going to be feeling good now we see the energy of uh, um, some of you Aries are going to be getting divorced um, you're going to decide that divorce is the best thing for you uh, some of you are going to be wanting to reconnect with a um, a Capricorn person um, I, I, somehow um, some of you ladies could be wanting to call this Capricorn person and uh, um, you know um, asking her you know is this true were you with my husband and let it go let it go let it go ladies let it go so what I'm seeing is that some of you um, um, Leo's is going to be reconnecting with a Taurus whoever the Taurus is I see you want a new start the Taurus is protecting themselves um, they're not ready for a new start I see some of you are going to be divorcing and leaving a cancer um, however it is the relationship is over um, some of you are going to be finding out that uh, um, a, a Pisces, a Cancer, and a Virgo was having some affair. Um, they were seeing each other. It could be something that they agreed upon, but you are bringing an end to it because one person is your husband or your wife, so you're bringing an end to it. You, you found out. Some of you are going to be finding out if you're in a relationship with a scorpion that the scorpion has been seen a Virgo. Some information you're married to the scorpion and they have been seen a Virgo. So I see a whole lot of conflicts that is going to be coming up. A lot of legal issues and a lot of conflicts in legal issues. Judgment call is coming up on a, um, um, a Capricorn and a Cancer. There is a judgment call that is coming up on a Capricorn and a Cancer. So some of you could be finding if you're in a relationship with a Capricorn that they're with a Cancer or vice versa and a judgment call. I see a Capricorn ending a relationship. Then we have the energy of the Librans and um, a Virgo. So um, some of you, um, just as I said, this water sign person is pissed off that your husband or wife has ended the relationship and they want to call you and tell you that they were seen a Virgo so some is a Virgo some is a Capricorn then we have the energy of uh, um, um, the the cancers and the Sagittarian what is transpiring here is that I see you Sagittarians who are in a relationship with a cancer you realize that this person is having some drugs or um, addiction or some sort of addiction you are going into therapy with this person I see communication is coming where um, a, a Capricorn and a cancer um, a end is coming to their relationship so you could be married to either the Capricorn or the cancer and you find out that they have been seeing each other and um, a tower moment is coming down because I see you're ending it 
Pisces and the Cancers. Some of you who are in relationship with a Pisces or the Cancer is going to find out that they have been cheating on you. Wow. So, fire signs. So, so, so. Mm, 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 fire signs. It's a lot. It's a lot. I see a huge end. I see information coming in. And it has to do with a Capricorn. Um, and it has to do with a Virgo. So whoever these people are and you were in a relationship or married to a Pisces or a Cancer, they have been cheating on you fire sign with a Capricorn or a Virgo. And this is coming up and it's as if the shift of energy is showing up. Maybe this is something that has happened a long time ago, but it's coming back. Some of, uh, um, some of you are going to be realizing that a water, a hair sign person, an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra is going to be calling you up because they have a disastrous end with your husband or your wife. And they have this disastrous end and it's going to be calling you up because because of the shutdown, they can't see this person and they are um, unhappy with themselves. So they want to ruin your marriage and your relationship. And then they are going to be saying, you know, I have been seeing this person for how long? And before me, they were seeing a Virgo or a Capricorn and that sort of a thing. And I would say, and you know, say to this person, let them speak up and uh, say what they have to say and say, you know, I, you know, yeah, um, yeah, you know that he was married and just let it like this. Now, however, you're going to, um, think how you're going to be moving forward because this person actually trying to create some karma in your world and you're going to be making a decision listen you know my husband was married so that it is not working out between you and him now now is the time you're going to be calling me to tell me about this third party um you know it, it is sad because um a lot of people are getting crazy because if if you live alone if you had someone that was taking care of you financially and this person is not there um, to give you what you are. I see most husbands are chosen for their wives and family. Whoever is married, I see the husbands are letting go of the side piece chicks and choosing for their wife and family. So, you know, as a wife, I would say to you, don't even worry about it. Let it go. All right. It is their loss, your gain. Friendships, it's good. It's good, baby. It is good. So, however, this is happening and transpiring is that it's their loss okay it's your gain because the side piece chick is finally gone and guess what you stand strong because he's going to be coming back and make sure that he does everything that you want because whatever that was happening between him and the side piece chick it's over now so guess what you're home let him do everything let him treat you like the princess that you should have been treated as um and um that's how you get back at a man that's it yeah so for the time being he shut down and yeah let him show you love if there's any love and oh you know this is how you deal with it until you make your decision so ladies and gentlemen life is full of surprises <laughs> And um, I dare the side piece chick that ever called me to say anything. Because trust me, when I finish with her, she can come and pick him up. <laughs> Namaste, ladies and gentlemen.